Eh tugeze umwanya wo kongera gutangira iteraniro ryacu. We have reached good time to gather once again. Huko tubimenyereye ubu ngubu no mwanya wo kubanza gusenga no gusiga imirimo yose mu biganza by'Imana. As we normally do now it's a good time to begin with prayers. Eh tugiye gutangira gusenga. So we are going to pray. Uiteka Lord, Mana, Remi, we see Nijuru. God, creator of the whole heavens and earth. Tonga Kugushima, no Kuguim Baza. We thank you and glorify you. Kugaka Kanya Kezonga Kuduha. For this good moment or time you've given us. Kokongira Gutera and Rimberea. To be gathered before you. Koko Yesuna, how we hold Nine to Shora Gusangu Buzima. For it is only through you that we receive life. Na handi we take a man at Shora Gusangu Buzima Buhoraho. There is no other place that we can receive eternal life by you. Yom Ham would Tonga Guamaga. And that is why we call upon your blood, yeah, which was shed because of our sins, so that it can purify and cleanse us, and allow us to be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit from heaven, so that he can continue to lead us in our everyday um, activities. Lord, we bound every satanic powers and dark powers. Where we are right now, Where, wherever everyone else that are at home are, may you continue to work within our, our hearts. May you continue to be the light. Continue to be the light in everything they need. We show you the problem which is causing us to. Uh, uh, to do our teaching through YouTube. It is because of your plans. Because this world it belongs to you. And we ask to be led by you through faith. And may you shine upon us in our everyday activities. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, kwa siku uyu munsi turigisha ku kugitwa urusengero. Today we are going to teach on the topic called temple. Ni 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 kintu gikomeye cyane ubu tuvuga ku rusengero. When we speak of temple it is a great thing to uh, discuss. Ariko turagerageza kunonosora bimwe na bimwe ingingo zimwe na zimwe. We are going to discuss in details every part. Huko harubgo Yesu yagiye yagiye kureba mu rusengero There was a time when Jesus entered a temple Agiye mujya mu rusengero And when he entered the temple Asanga mu rusengero huzemwo abantu He saw that there were people in the temple Bagurisha inka zabo Who were selling cows Bagurisha matungo yabo Who were selling their pets Bagurisha ibintu byabo Who were selling their things Bagurisha ibintu bakibagirwa icyo iyo ngoro y'Imana yaribereho They were selling things and forgot what the temple was for None nubu And even now Tukaba duhura nibyo bibazo We see those issues Ibyo bibazo byo kujya mu rusengero those issues of entering the church ugasanga mu rusengero ntabwo ikiri ngoro y'Imana ahubwo isigari ngoro y'abajura n'abagambaye and that temple is no longer a temple of god but it is a temple of uh, thieves and uh, evil doers niyo mpamvu tugiye tugiye kureba icyo rusengero rw'abarusobanura and that is why we're going to look at what the temple means niyo mpamvu tugiye kureba nkabo winjiye mu rusengero mu buryo nyabwo n'uburyo butari butari that's why we're going to discuss for about the temple and how to enter in the temple the right way or the wrong way. For the temple is not led by our thoughts. But it is led by strength and uh, it is not led by strength of a mankind. For example, let's talk about the temple of Noah. God revealed him what was to happen. And he allowed him to teach about those things to the other people. 
There was the temple of Moses. Musa imana yabanje kumutwara ahantu iramutegura. God had to take Moses away to a place and prepare him. Kugira ngo abashe gutanga ubutumwa. So that he can uh, provide the gospel. Ubutumwa bwari bugendanye n'icyo gihe. The gospel of that time. Ubutumwa bwari bugendanye nako kanya. The gospel at that time. Niyo mpamvu Yesu nawe kugiyeke. That is why even Jesus times yarafite imigambi. He had a plan. Yarafite gahunda. He had a plan. Kubwo rusengero. For the chair of the temple. Ariko agiye mu rusengero. And when he entered the temple, yasanze rusengero rwataye murongo. He saw that the temple was in disorder. Rwarataye inzira rugomba kugenderaho. They were not following the ways they needed to follow. Rwarataye ireme. They were not doing what needed to be done. Gutireme bisobanuriki. What does that mean? Urusengero na hantu twakagombye guhura n'Imana. A temple is a place where we gather and uh, meet with God. Ahantu ayoborwa n'imbaraga z'umwuka wera. A temple is filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Ahantu Imana imurikira abana bayo ku buryo ibigiye kubaho n'ibyabayeho nibiriho. It is a place where God shines for his children and he reveals to us what's going to happen or what's ahead. Yesu icyo gihe yagara mu rusengero yirukanye bari abantu bose bakoreshaga ibyo ngibyo bavunjaga amafaranga So at that time Jesus entered the temple and he he kicked all of those people who were selling in the temple out Niyo mpamvu tugiye gusomanga muri Yohani kabiri We're going to read in the book of John chapter 2 Kuri 16 Tushobora gusoma we, let's read. Akawambia wale waliokuwa wanauza njiwa on, ondoeni vitu hivi hapa. Msifanye nyumba ya baba yangu kuwa soko. John chapter 2 verse 16 says, And he said to those who sold loves, Take these things away. Do not make my father's house a house of merchandise. Yesu yaje aje kubohora. Jesus came to uh, set us free. Yaje aje kongera gusubiza ireme ikitwa rusengero He came to provide what needed to be provided in the temple Yari yabitangiye gute How did that begin Yari afite imbaraga z'imbaraga z'Imana He had the power of God Yari afite ububasha bw'Imana He had the power of the authority of God Yari afite nubwo bumenyi He knew he had the knowledge of God Niyo mpamvu mbere uko Imana yishagiye kugukoresha And that is why before God can use you Imbere uko Imana ishaka kugira ikikorana nawe Before God can work with you Ibanze gushira muri training He needs to train you first Ibanze kagutwara handi gomba gukwigisha He needs to take you to a place and train you Ijya gukoresha Abraham When he wanted to use Abraham Yamubwiye ngo va va Kardayo vambutaka bwa so na nyoko He said leave the land of your fathers Va mu bintu byanyu byose Leave your things behind Yavuye mu bigirwa mana basengaga Leave your idols behind Ava mu bintu byose bakoraga So he left everything behind Aragenda yumvira umuhamagaro w'Imana And he, he received the calling of God Imana ijya kumwigisha And God went and taught him Musa Imana ijya kumuhamagara and Moses was the same as well. He was in the house of Pharaoh. He was, he was a prince. But God had a plan for him. God had a plan for his life. So God took him to the wilderness. So that he can teach him. So that he can give him uh, the words to take to others. And when the time came. He, he went to uh, tell the people about God. And that is why every time that you are going to gather in the temple of God we have a reason to gather in the church of God. We come as we are uh, there is no one who is kicked out in the temple of God. And once we receive the word of God it has power. It has power to change us. To show us where we are in our faith. Our beliefs shows, us, shows who we are. Musa 
Mo- Moses learned his theology in Egypt. In Egypt. Yize theology of sio kwa Pharaoh. He learned um he learned his theology of a Pharaoh's when he was at Pharaoh's house. Avuye yo. And once he left. Imana yamwigishi yahukana guye bidya bintu byose yigiye mu nzu ya Pharaoh. God took everything he had learned while he was in Pharaoh's home. Kuko sibyo Imana yashakaga. Because that no God wanted him to know. Sibyo Imana yatekerezaga. That's not that when those were not God's thoughts. Imana yabanje kumwigisha ibyo yishaka ko yigisha. God told him when he needed him to learn. Harundi mukozi wayo witwa Paulo. There is another servant of God called Paul. Paul is a theology yo farisayo. Paul was a Pharisee. Iyo theology yize. He learned to, he studied theology of the Pharisees. Yari yize kugira ngo abu mukozi w'Imana. He wanted to become a servant of God. Ariko ubwo kwitwa ukorera Imana yakomba ukorera Imana akurikije akurikije ubwenge n'ubushobozi bw'icyo bw'icyo nandiyo rusengero rwa bwa Pharisayo. And in order to do so he needed to become a Pharisee and follow the rules and the uh, teachings. But Iman ari mufite imigambi. But God had a plan for his life. Iman ari fite uko ibyo yashaka ko yigisha. God knew what he needed Paul to teach. Iman nayo yamutwaye mu butayo. And so God took him to the wilderness as well. Imya kumwigisha ibyishaka ko yigisha. And he told him that what he wanted Paul to learn. Niyo mpamvu. And that is why Yesu akimara kwirukana izo ntumwa When when Jesus went to this temple and kicked out those people out of the temple Murusengero in the temple Harahantu it was a place Imani igomba kwigisha abantu bayo where God needed to teach his people ikabigisha ibyo ishaka to teach them what he needs them to learn Imani ishaka ko umubiri wacu iba ingoro y'Imana God wants our bodies to be a living te- to be a temple Ntabwo umubiri wacu ugomba kuba inzu y'ubusambanye Our bodies are not uh, we should we shouldn't use our bodies to commit adultery Umubiri wacu ntabwo igomba kuba inzu y'ubuheshi n'ubusambanye n'izindi ngeso zose We shouldn't zosende. use our temple to lie and do other evil things Liyo mpamvu And that is why Ahangaha Yesu yabwiye ngo musohoke mu nzu ya data Jesus said leave the temple of God Musohoke aha hantu Leave this place Musohoke muri uyu mubiri Leave this body Musohoke muri ingoro Leave this temple Ahubwo iyi ni ingoro ya data For this is of my father's house Niyo mpamvu And that is why Yababwiye ko He said to them Ahangaha This house Hagomba kwigishwa ubutumwa bwa data It's only for my father's uh, house Tugiye gusoma kuri 10 We are going to read um, chapter 17 17 17 Yes that is Verse 17 Eh wanafunzi wake wakakumbuka kwamba maandiko yasema ya upendo wangu kwa nyumba yako waniua 17 Chapter 2 verse 17 says Then his disciples remembered that it was written zeal for your zeal for your house has eaten me up Yes Imbaraga z'Imana The power of God yarangwaga mu rusengero Was in that temple Ububasha bw'Imana The authority of God yarangwaga mu rusengero Was in that temple Urusengero In the temple Ntabwo yari inzu y'ubucuruzi Was not a house for sales It Na, was not a house to sell things Ntabwo ari inzu y'ubusinzi It was not a house to get drunk Ntabwo ari inzu y'ubusambanye It was not a temple to commit adultery Ntabwo ari inzu tugoramo ibyo twe dutekereza It is not a temple to do what our thoughts tells us to do Ahubwo hari ibintu byagenewe gukorerwa muri inzu y'Imana things that needs to be done in the house of God No kugira ngo abantu babohorwe And for people to be released to be no, set free No kugira ngo imbaraga z'Imana zibashe gukora mu bwoko bwayo For the power of God to um, take control in our lives Abantu babashe kwezwa no gutunganywa na So that people can continue to be purified and cleansed. Niyo mpamvu. And that is why Yesu abafarisayo baramubajije. The Pharisees asked Jesus. Niki wakora kitugaragariza uko byuvuga ibyo? What can you show can you show us a sign that what you're saying is true? Ibyo yabigishaga bo ntibabashaka kubyumva muri cyo gihe. For they did not understand his teachings at that time. Ntibabashaka kubyakira muri cyo gihe. They did not understand his teaching or did not accept it. Bitewe niki? Ah uh, because nuko barabumubiri. They were in the flesh. Nuko barabisi. 
They were of the world. Kandi avisi. And the worldly people. Nabu yumubiri. And of the flesh and the flesh and the people in the flesh. Ubutumwa bwiza. The gospel is nothing to them. For them is uh, is considered as people without knowledge. But for us, it's life. It's a blessing. There are good things we receive through the gospel. And those good things, what are they? One is to be set free. Because the Bible commands us to be reborn. We need to die according to the flesh, to the last of the flesh. We need to die to the last of the world. When Jesus entered that temple at that time, he saw the people were only focused on worldly things. He saw that people were focused in, on the flesh. And the gospel that was meant to be given at that time was not given. No, ne so we are here so that Jesus can put his gospel in us and we may receive that gospel and he may change us and we become new creations new people and become fruitful Fru we bear fruit, spiritual fruits and we have authority it is not only to pray but but we need that authority. We need that power. Because Jesus said that whatever I do, you can also do. You can also do. Because my father and I will come and sit where you are will come and live in you and use you. And you become our temple. And you shall become our temple. So our body is not to be used for um for, for sexual desires. But but it's for the, for the Holy Spirit for the power of the Holy Spirit and that is why Jesus said uh, tear down that, that house if you tear down the building I will rebuild it within three days and that is a spiritual speech but people did not understand. People did not accept it. If we are people who believe in God, we have a way of understanding things um, better than the world. More different to the world. At that time, they considered the 40s. 46 years which the temple was built. They saw the power of that temple and how great it was. And they took Jesus as a crazy man. And that is, and that is why as people who believe in God, we are always considered crazy. For the temple that Jesus was talking about was a spiritual one. And that is why for us, we stand and we observe the temple of God. And how people need to enter that temple or that church. We don't enter because of our own strength. Because of our own wisdom. Because we are from different types of families. Because we have this power. But we enter because God knew us before the foundation of the earth. And he called us. And even to stand here, it's because Jesus, he wants us, he wants this gospel to be spread across the world so that people can come and get to know him in that temple so that people can accept the gospel so that people can be can receive the light of God 
Let's read in on verse let's read verse 20. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 6 19 to 20. Um chapter 6 verse 19 to 20. J. Hamjui kwamba miili yenu ni hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu aliye ndani yenu ambaye mlimpokea kutoka kwa Mungu nyinyi basi si mali yenu wenyewe. Haleluya. Chapter 6 verse 19 to 20. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? whom you have from God and you are not your own for you were brought at a price that therefore glorify God for you were bought at a price therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's hallelujah hallelujah ahonga ho yesu yabwiraga abakorinto this was a Paul speaking uh, this was Jesus speaking for Paul to the Corinth to the Corinthians yababwiraga mu bwe buryo what was he saying to them? He was using Paul. Paul. And after calling Paul, he, 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 he was a Pharisee and he left and became a new person. And God changed his, uh, his philosophy and his theology which he had learned from when which he had learned when he was still a Pharisee. And so he gave him his own wisdom. We are going to look at what God um, uses in order to use you as his servant. He knew you before the creation of the earth. And he gave you the power. And he knows that you have that power. And he knows that you have that authority. But he needed to, he needs to train you first. He needs to teach you and he needs to train and teach you his ways. Paulo akirangiza kwiga mu butayi imyaka itatu When Paul was in the wilderness for 3 years Mana yamuha yabonye ko igihe cyo kigeze God saw that it was time it was his time Yabonye ko umwanya ugeze He saw that it was his time No ne yari maze kugukata bya bintu byose by'umubiri Because he was no longer in the flesh Bya bindi byose by'isi he no longer lived, dwelt in the world. He had died to those things. So you, my brethren, that is here. You who receives this gospel. When you see your life. When you think about your life. Where do you stand? Do you stand on your feet? Where do you stand? You think about your life. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? Where do you stand? Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Are you led by the Holy Spirit? Do you walk in the authority of God? And if that's the case, God has plans to continue to lead you in his ways. Like he led Paul. And he said to the Corinthians, because he had a plan for the Corinthians to change. And also we have a plan to uh, help change people. To give their lives to God. To listen to God. And the bodies become the temple of God. The power and authority which they have. May they, they, so that they may give it. So that they can um, spread the gospel. For the gospel of God. We cannot... We, we cannot do whatever we want with it. But God, before he blesses us, before he uh, announces us with the uh, spirit, there is, a, there is a path that we need to go through. Because as you know, if a newborn is about to be born, there is a path they have to go through. I'm with a nurse. Who knows? 
mbere yuko umwana avuka before a child is born habanza mazi there will, they have to be the water has to bro, to break hakakurikira wiki and then what follows hakurikira maraso and then the blood follows hanyuma hakakurikira ubatizo bwo mwuka wera and then uh, comes uh, the baptism of the holy spirit nawe nk'umu kristo and you as a christian uvuka mu buryo bwo mwuka you who are born in a spiritual way nabyo bicamurizo nzira you have to go through that you have to go in that path koko ikintu cyose tubona mu buryo bwo mwuka in everything we see kibanza mu buryo bwo mubiri starts in the flesh mu buryo bugaragara it starts in the way in thin ways that is seen uje mu rusengero when you come in the church uje ukumeze you come as you are Yugeze mu rusengero kumva ijambo ry'Imana. And once you come in the church and you receive the word of God. Ikintu cy'ambere mu mutima wawe. The first thing in your heart. Uribaza ubuzima bwawe ugendanye n'iryo jambo. You ask yourself is this word related to me? To my life. Ndu mu Kristo. Am I a Christian? Niba ntari we haraburi iki kugira ngo mbewe. And if I'm not what do I need in order to become a Christian? No ne mu ruko kwibaza nibwo. And in that questioning Imana itangirira kugenda ikwerekeka inzira zayo. God will show you his ways. Niko kazi kagomba gukorerwa mu nzu y'Imana. And that what need to be done in the temple of God. Nyuma yaho ngaho urabatizwa. And after that you become baptized. Kuko ba wemeye kwitwa mu Kristo. Because you have accepted to be called a Christian. Niyo yamaza aboneka y'umwana giye kuvuka. And that's when you become baptized in the water just no. as a newborn is about to be born the water have to break first. No bubatizo. And that is a baptism. No bubatizo. And that baptism noneho haza umwanya wa maraso then they comes blood noneho tuguha ijambo we give you the word of god tuguha mata kugira ngo milk spiritual milk kugira ngo ubashe gukura mu buryo bw'umuka uve mu bwana ukomere uwe muntu mukuru leave your childhood and become a grown up ukatangira ukabone ukabone ijambo First of all you see the word of God. Ugatangira kwitandukanya nibintu bibi. And you are separate your lives to bad from bad things. Ukamenye impamvu uri mu ngoro y'Imana. You have a reason to be you understand your reasons to be in the church of God. Ukamenye cyaguteye kuza. And you understand your reason to why you're here. Nurangiza kubimenya. No want to know those things. Uburangije etape ya maraso. That's the second part which is the part, the uh, ways of the blood. No neho haza etape ya gatatu. And the third thing ariyo etape y'umwuka wera. Is the spirit. Nicyagiye noneho imana imanuka ikaza mu mutima wawo. And that's when God comes and settles in your heart. Hallelujah. 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 Numwanya imana iza mu mutima wawo. That's when God comes within your heart. Nigi imana itangira ikagukoresha. That's when God uses you. Nigi imana itangira ikagubwo bubasha nubwo bushobozi. That's when God gives you the power and the authority. Icyo gihe abakozi b'Imana baramenya kubera ibintu utangira kugaragaza. And that times people who will know because they have their signs on you. You are no longer the person you used to be. But you become a new creation. You are a new creature. You are no longer you are no longer the same person as you used to be before you know Christ. Imana iraza ikicara mu mutima wawe. God comes and sits within your heart. Ikicara mu bugingo bwawe. He comes in your life. Niyo mpamvu. And that is why Aha ngaha ijambo ry'Imana rifite icyo ritubwira. The word of God ha, has a meaningful is meaningful. Kuri John If we read John 14:23 Yesu akamjibu mtu akinipenda atashika neno langu na baba yangu atampenda nasi tutakuja kwake na kukaa naye haleluya chapter 14 verse 23 says jesus answered and said and said to him if anyone loves yes if anyone loves me he will keep my word and my father and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ahanga turareba noneho warangije kwemera Imana. This is when you've accepted our God. Warangije kubatizwa. You've been baptized. Warangije kwakira ijambo. You've received the word of God. Noneho umutima wawe urawuteguye kugira ngo ubashe kwakira Imana. And you prepare your heart so that you can receive God. Yesu yabwiraga intumwa ze. 
Jesus was telling his disciples. He said you have accepted me. My father and I will come and sit in you. And you will become vessels. Because everything I have done, I will not come and do again. But I will use you, to, I will use you as vessels. I will shine my light upon you. Whatever I will do, I will do using you. And what Jesus did was prepare the, um, the, the apostles. So that they can continue spreading the gospel. And, other, and those apostles... They are the ones who need to be in the temple now. To uh, speak about the word of God. To shine for the people. To know what people need. So that they can baptize people. To strengthen people spiritually. To uh, encourage people. Because Jesus said that everything he did. He will use his servants. And that is why servants of God needs to always be with God. And the ways of God is through prayers. In order to be with God or get closer to God is to always pray. To read the word of God. To always reflect on our lives. Because what Jesus is saying, what he is showing, is that he is going to prepare a place for us. He already uh, built the church on the earth. And the people on this have already done the works that they needed to. He had already done the works that he needed to, do, to be done. No, no, uh, and what's left? Nah, 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 it's for me and it's for me and you. Nye, nah, turakori, kiku, girango, tkuba, kao, yesu, what can you and I do in order to continue what Jesus left? Because Jesus said that he will come and use us. If we make his temple a place to commit adultery, a place to uh, steal, a place to uh, do wicked things, God will ask us, we will answer to God. God has given us the gift to be used. How can we use those gifts if you do not want to listen? If you don't want to leave the things you're doing and come to God. Because within us, there is the temple of God. Before we were worldly people, we, were, we, we, were, we, we walked like worldly people and the world, the world loved us. And we loved the world also. And we walked with them and lived with them. But once we came to know Jesus, the darkness, the darkness or the power of darkness left us. And there was the power of God within us. There was the authority of God. So God wants to use us as vessels. God wants you wherever you are wherever you are at this day and this time God wants you to listen and do things that is required of you because once you enter the church you are taught and they, you receive the word of God and they show you the ways that you need to walk so that, so that you, you have nothing before God to say. You, you cannot say that I did not hear this. And that is why and that, that is why Jesus went to prepare a place for us. 
once we leave this world. Because each person will give an, will be asked of what they've done. Amakosa yawe ibyiza byawe byose bizajya kumugaragara. The things you've done will be revealed and the bad things you've done will also be revealed. Niyo mpamvu. And that is why. Ahanga hatureba tugiye gusoma kuri iri jambo rivuga. So we are going to read. Kuri John. John 14:3. Na nikienda na na nikienda na kuwatayarishieni nafasi nitarudi na kuwachukueni kwangu ili nanyi muwe pale nilipo mimi haleluya amen 14 verse 3 says and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again and receive you to myself and that where i am they, there you may also be you be you may be also haleluya haleluya yesu yabanje kwisi God, Jesus started in the world and prepared the church. Once he prepared the church, he said, I do not leave you as orphans, but I will send you the Holy Spirit. I will send the power to overcome the world and, he will give, and I will give you wisdom. Uh, wisdom. Yes. And once he's given us wisdom, you become our disciples. You become our servants. You take my word across the world. I'm going to prepare a place for you. No, no, yes, we are so Jesus went to prepare a place for us. Yes, we he did not leave us alone. Yes, we are but he sent us the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. So that he can shine in our lives. To lead us. To enable us. To empower us. And all of those things the Holy Spirit does. It is because he wants us to finish the, the work which Jesus has started. Jesus started that work. And we also, we also started. Because he has given us power and strength to continue that work. And that strength is what we're talking about. That, that power is what we're discussing. Which needs to be in the temple of God. Which needs to be taught in the temple of God. Which every Christian needs to receive. Because Jesus said that everything he did Whoever believes in him will also do. Wherever you are, you need to know that you have that power. You need to know that you have that authority. You need to know that God will use you. Imana ifite imigambi na gahunda kandi uzazisoza ntabwo ari we ni wowe izazisozereza. God has plans which he must he must fulfill but he needs to use you. Niyo mpamvu kuri aka kanya tugiye kurangiza kuri 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 nani 2 Peter 2 5. That is why we are going to finish in 2 Peter chapter 5. Yesu Mungu mwendeni Mungu hakuiurumia dunia ya hapo kale bali alileta garika kuu juu ya nchi ile ya watu wasio mcha Mungu lakini Noa ambaye alihubiri uadilifu Mungu alimwokoa pamoja na watu wengine saba haleluya amen uh, chapter 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 5 says and did not spare the ancient world but saved Noah one of eight people a preacher of righteousness bringing in the flood on the world on the world of the ungodly amen what was your mcha mungu abantu batumvira imana People who do not listen to God. People who do not listen to God. You are in the temple. 
You've been taught. You've been taught. There is nothing that the servants of God couldn't do. Umenye haven't done. God will ask you God will ask you, you be, you, God will ask you everything you've done here. Kuko, because he sent his apostles who gave you the gospel, who brought you the gospel and you've been taught a lot and you've been, you've received a lot. There is nothing you can say before God. Everything has been done. The only thing left is for you to change. You need to become the temple of God. And because of that time of Noah, God sent Noah. Before God destroyed the earth, he sends somebody first. Somebody to preach the gospel. Noah had the gospel of um, the gospel that needed to be heard at that time. He he worked he worked, he worked according to his time. And once he is, he's, uh, he preached. People thought he was crazy. Some people used to look at the sky. And they saw that it was not, it, it doesn't look like it's going to rain. And all the, all the uh, scientists also uh, looked for different things. And saw that there was no sun for rain. They thought he was crazy. And even us when we were talking about the coming back of Jesus. People see us as crazy. People see us as people without a purpose. But truly we know what we are talking about. And that is why we are calling you all to listen to the word of God. According to the times we're in. According to the scripture. The time to prepare your life is now. To come back to Jesus. To listen to the word of God. Because Jesus said he's coming back to prepare a place to, for us. And if he comes back, how is he going to find you? How will he find you? What will you be doing when he comes back? And that is why this moment we are asking you, Breflin, who is listening to this gospel to know where you are. To know where you are standing. To know where you are standing your beliefs. To know where you are standing your beliefs. Jesus gave us the uh, he gave us the parable of two uh, brides who were waiting for the coming of Jesus. Of uh, he gave us a parable sorry of two different um two different ten the ten virgins who one one five of them had um oil five of them had the Holy Spirit and others did not. And those who had the those with the uh, Holy Spirit had the oil prepared. And in those people they prepare their lives. It's up to us to prepare our lives now. To, and to be prepared for the return of Jesus. And that is the gospel of today. That is the gospel that needs to be taught in church. And that is how Jesus needs to find you prepared with your oil. Prepare your life. 
This is the time. This is the moment. For Jesus can come at any time. And he will find you ready if you are ready. We are finishing our congregation now. We are going to pray as we started by praying. Lord. Creator of earth and heavens. We thank you for this good moment you've given us to stand before your people so that we can bring the word of God to them. Of one needs to be done so that you can prepare your people for you are God and you've known us before the, earth, before the heavens were created. And wherever everyone is, we put them in your hands. In their house, in their rooms, in their offices, God, may you, uh, may you put this gospel in their hearts and allow them to prepare the return of, of your return. As you say that you're going to prepare a place for us, we are waiting for you. We give you our hearts and lives so that you can continue to give us wisdom and authority. Power to, be, to overcome the desires of the world and of the flesh. We will bring to you everyone that are sick so that you can heal them. Especially this uh, virus that's going around which are refraining, pe refraining people from gathering for worship. And that are stopping dif uh, different types of work to, um, to continue. We thank you God for you are God who does things in your own ways. And we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.